In today's video, we're going to learn how to hack Minecraft using the Kano Computer Kit. Alright, once your Kano boots up, you're going to go ahead and click your Hack Minecraft icon. And the Hack Minecraft app will start to load. And it'll give you a little preview of uh, some of the features, how you can learn how to code with their visual coding tool as well as JavaScript to build all kinds of different things in the Minecraft world as well as shape the world to however you'd like it. Uh, it's pretty customizable. You can do pretty much whatever you want, uh, just writing some scripts from their visual coding tool. Okay, once the app loads up, you'll have the menu here. And the bottom, you can see some of the features are locked until you complete two challenges. Uh, it's pretty easy. It only takes a couple of minutes, if that, to unlock that. Uh, so yeah, this is the Hack Minecraft app. And you can see there's three different options here. The Origin Story, uh, Fortress of Blockitude. You get to build a castle. And the Galactic Crafting. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Origin Story, though. It kind of walks you through step-by-step step some of the very basics. You can see a list of challenges here. Uh, we start off the first one on how to build a tower. So you pretty much learn different tools to build and code, and they get progressively more complex. And so you get to have fun and learn how to code at the same time. So you click the Start button. Your Minecraft world will start to load. You can see the controls are pretty similar to a normal PC Minecraft. You look around with either your mouse or your touchpad. Use the WASD keys to walk around. And you can use the spacebar to jump. And left click to use your sword to break some of your blocks. You can double tap the spacebar to fly through the air. Uh, just like you can in regular Minecraft. That way it's easier to move around. Check out your world. See where you want to build some stuff dig some holes, blow some stuff up, anything, you, anything you'd like to do, you can pretty much do it. Uh, it just takes a little time to learn, learn the tools and the layout and uh, you'll be up and running in no time. So to get into your Minecraft hacking tool, you just hit the tab key and that'll bring up this menu here. And on the left side, you can see all the different tools you can use to code uh, your scripts to create uh, to create different things from towers, uh, for instance, like this one, you can see the different parameters that you program, and on the right side, you can see what you've programmed so far. So you start off with the tower, you can get in there and edit it, call it whatever you like. And the middle space there is your workspace, and you hit the tab key to get back to your world if you want to, to use your, your hotkeys for the things you've programmed. Walk around, check out your world. So here you can go ahead and press the T button to go ahead and build some towers. And it's programmed to build them right where you're standing. So you might have to move around a little bit to see them. So every time you hit the T key for this one, it'll pop a tower up wherever you're standing at. So you can see a bunch of glass towers were built. And you can fly around, check them out, build them up in the air. Uh, pretty much any, anywhere you want to, you can build them. Some of the different materials at the bottom there. You can hit the tab key to go back into your menu, and this will walk you through each of the challenges. So on the right side here, you can see the preview pane on what you're programming, the JavaScript tab, so that you can kind of see the code that's in the background running to execute your, your visual coding. So next challenge is to change our material to TNT. So that's always a fun one. Build something out of TNT and blow it up. <laughs> so you go ahead and switch it to material to TNT. Here you can see it's now a tower of TNT blocks. You can run around and put them wherever you want. Uh, and then like I said, sometimes you gotta back up because it's built pretty much right where you're standing. So you just back up a little bit and there it is. And you can give it a couple smacks with your sword set it off and watch it blow up. So you can see it kind of cascades down and blows up a big hole in your Minecraft world. Kind of just, like I said, just like in regular Minecraft, it'll function pretty much the same. Maybe not all the features and the materials, but 
And here you can make as many towers that you want. You just keep hitting the T button, build a whole bunch of them, make a big old stack of TNT, and uh, give it a couple of whacks to blow it up, see what it does. This is actually good if you want to clear out some stuff really fast, or if you just like blowing stuff up. So you can see a big hole and the water starts to pour in. So this was the first challenge. So you go back in to your menu by hitting the tab. You can see your next challenge. So just click the next challenge button. And now they want you to go ahead and write your name in text within the Minecraft world. So on the left side here, you can see the text tray. You click here. Go ahead and click the write code block and that'll move it into your workspace. So give it a little click and it pops over. Now you can see my code kind of popped underneath my menu on the left here. Makes it a little difficult to work with. So you can go ahead and zoom out with the minus key and get it to where you can see it in center. Center it into your screen using the crosshairs or you can just kind of click and drag to move your code wherever it is, uh, works best for you. Because as you start to code more stuff, it'll get pretty big and you'll have to navigate around then to try to execute this, you have to connect your code to your command, which is the C. So you want, whenever you press the C button, it'll build this for you. So now that they're connected, whenever you press the C button in the world, it'll go ahead and execute this code. But we didn't specify anything to write yet. So you gotta click in here and then type in whatever you like. They want you to write your name, but you can type hello or I wrote hack Minecraft as you saw the uh, the intro screen there. So pretty much whatever you want to put on there, you can enter it and then go back to the world. You can hit the C key and back up a little bit and you can see there it is right in the middle of your world. So you can put that over a house you build or you know any anything, whatever message you want and then hit the tab key, move back into the menu and then you're off to the next challenge. And you can work all the way through and learn all the different tools for coding and teaches all kinds of things from logic to loops and uh, just keeps building on those skills so you can learn how to how to code while having fun. So if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and if you've got anything specific you'd like to see just go ahead and leave a comment below. Thanks!